Hey everybody, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to make a really fast, hopefully fast, um, tutorial of orange and purple colors together. I know I look horrible right now. I just got out of the shower and just put on a fancy bun. It is pretty, it's not too late. It's 8.34 when my camera focuses. And, um, yeah, I just have some free time right now and this is the time that I want to dedicate to you guys. Um, so just re just excuse all of this please and even my outfit because I'm wearing a pink sweater and uh, pajama pants so I know that's it's not that great of a look but again this is a time that I have for you guys and I don't know if you guys do you guys watch Hulu I want to tell you guys about this um, Asian soap opera that I watch on there it's called Substitute Princess it's really really good this is the intro for it. This is like the little uh, music for it. It's so cute. And literally, if you guys start watching this, it has subtitles at the bottom. So you kind of have to be a fast reader. Well, uh, I mean, a pretty good reader in order to read them. Um, but it's just such an awesome soap opera. Like, I'm so into it. And I got my mom into it. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. It's on Hulu. And it's called Substitute Princess. I believe you can only watch it on your computer though because if you get Hulu through your phone, I think there's like this member C thing that you guys have to pay. So if you guys have a computer, then you guys can totally watch it with me and let me know what you guys think below, all right? And let me get to this tutorial. Bye! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my 10 Colors palette by BH Cosmetics. And this is just a bunch of concealers in this palette. I love, love, love these concealers. I'm actually going to be using a mixture of the lighter tone concealers, which go with my skin tone a lot more, on my eyelids. And that will act as a base. And you can totally tell how much they work because they're making all my redness disappear. I'm just going to apply this with my fingers because it warms up the product and it goes on a lot smoother and faster. So you're going to go ahead and want to do that onto both of your eyes. So I forgot to record this part, but what I did was I took the Maybelline Color Tattoo in a orange color. And I actually don't use this color too much, but just for this tutorial I bought it. And what I did was just dab some on my ring finger and then I spread it out on my lids because that's where the orange is going to be focusing on. Now I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk palette that I just recently got as well. And I'm going to take this pinkish, orangey-ish color. It appears pink on camera, but it's actually orange, like a really dark orange. And as soon as I start putting it on my lid, you guys will be able to see how really, really well it looks on top of the um, Maybelline 24-hour color tattoo, I believe is what it's called. It just acts so great it is a really nice burnt orange color and I'm applying it with a flat beach cosmetics brush uh, probably I think it's I think this one's called the precision brush just because it is very very um, small it's not too big and it's just perfect for this so now that you kind of have a rough sketch of your orange eyeshadows I'm going to take a Kat Von D palette that I have and I'm going to be using a lot of the purples that are in this palette. Just mixing them up all together, using one first and then the other second. Also taking the purples from the Sonia Kashuk palette. And um, yeah, I'm just going to basically mix all of them together. And you're going to want to kind of blend it in with the orange a little bit. I'll show you guys in a little bit how I'm going to be applying this. I'm going to take the lighter purple first and start applying that in my crease slightly. I'm using that same brush that I used for my lid for the orange color. I just really love this brush. It's super precise. More towards the end of the outer V as well, I'm applying it and blending it in towards the orange color. And then you can see that I'm actually bringing it upward a little bit more so that it starts creating a bit of a smoky effect. I'm now going to take a little bit of a darker purple and start adding that on. As you can see, that's 
a way darker purple so I wasn't expecting it to be too dark I actually wanted it to be a little bit lighter because I wanted to be a bright purple but since I had already put this one on I just went for it and it came out more of a plummy color but it's alright because the whole look ended up looking awesome either way Now I'm just going to take my concealer brush because there is uh, messiness under the bottom and some of that same BH Cosmetics concealer and make a very, very smooth line at the end corner. This can also act a little bit of a, as a little bit of a highlight once you have your foundation on. I just think these concealers are super versatile. You can use them for so many different things and just blend that out. So now I'm taking a dome shaped brush by BH Cosmetics as well and I didn't show the color that I'm using here but it is a white shimmery color from that Sonia Kashuk palette that I showed you guys. I applied a bit at the inner corner and now I'm applying it under my brow just as a brow highlight and you're going to want to blend the white with the purple a little bit. There's not too much to blend because we had already done the blending before. So we're back and I totally forgot to show this part but I did do my foundation and it's a brand new Revlon foundation that I bought and a, uh, I believe it's called this, a, stip, a flat stipple brush from Beach Cosmetics and I patted my face down with 004 Sandstorm from the Rimmel Collection of Stain Matte. I didn't take an angled blush brush but I use it for my bronzer, an NYC bronzer. And I'm going to go ahead and contour the places I would usually contour just a little bit. Usually I would go a little bit heavier but since I am going nowhere right now, I'm just going to do a little light um, bronzing for you guys. I'm also going to take a little bit of a highlighter and I'm going to take that on to a tapered blending brush. This is what I like to use for my highlighters. And just lightly dab it at uh, the top of my cheekbones and uh, my cupid's bow and also a little bit down the bridge of my nose just to accentuate that area and not the sides. These are the lashes I'm going to be applying. They're by Miss Adoro and I am going to apply them off camera because they are really hard to apply for me still. I still need a lot of practice and I'm using the Revlon glue and it is in black. So I'll be right back. So this is just me being cocky and showing off my eyelashes to you guys. I love these lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my eyebrows just taking uh, an uh, angled brush and this one's by MAC. I'm not sure about the numberation. I know I've used it before. And my regular uh, brow art powder that I've been using forever and it still has a lot of it in there. Trust me you guys. If you guys saw my really old um, eyebrow tutorial that's the same eyebrow art that I've been using since then. Okay, so for my lips, I wanted to try something a little bit different. This is a Milani um, eyeliner, and this is in purple, but I'm actually going to be using on my lips just because it is super duper soft. I'm going to lightly line my lips with it just a little bit. I just wanted the purple to kind of match the purple in the eyeshadow. And after this, I'm, I didn't want to go too, too crazy on the purple eyeliner. So I did take a uh, pinkish glittery Lorac um, lip gloss that I've used in a lot of my videos before. And I just filled in all my lips with that so you guys will see that shortly. I love this lip gloss. This lip gloss lasts a really really long time and it doesn't get too sticky either. I know there are a couple other ones that I have, like I know Sephora tends to get a little bit sticky and this one does not get sticky at all. So basically this is the finished look. 
I hope you guys liked it and I hope to see you guys soon. I'm going to give you guys a close up here. It came out really, really nice. Actually nicer than I had personally expected it to come out. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video and I hope you guys are still enjoying my videos. I know I still don't post a lot but like I said, I just do when I have time. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look. Uh, yeah, basically this is the end of this look. I really love it and the orange actually came out a little bit more of a burnt orange. So I actually like that more than just the regular orange. It um, gives the dark darkness of the purple like so much more color. I just totally love it. And I'm loving these eyelashes too. Those are really pretty. Alright, see you guys some other time. Bye!